here is another look at Tampa, Florida right now where wind and rain are whipping as Hurricane Milton nears landfall. It was expected to make landfall in the Tampa Bay area. The storm shifted south a little bit and that eye is just right there ready to officially make landfall. Um, we're keeping a close eye on this Category 3 storm where officials say there will be catastrophic damage. Milton is the second hurricane in two weeks impacting the southeast. Meteorologist Vanessa Murdoch covers climate and shares data on how our warm warming world affects hurricane development and impacts us. Helene's rainfall topping 30 inches ripped apart parts of North Carolina. Two weeks later and still the situation remains dire for some. Milton has yet to unleash its worst on Florida, but the storm's rapid intensification Monday and the 180 mile per hour max speed already made it a hurricane for the record books. As our world warms, data indicates we should expect more storms like Milton and Helene. So across the board, we're seeing areas that are being impacted in ways that maybe have not been impacted this way before. There is greater devastation over broader areas, says Jeff Slegemelch, director of the National Center for Disaster Preparedness at Columbia Climate School. One of the biggest impacts we're seeing on hurricanes is just the rapid intensification, as well as the intensity of the hurricanes themselves. A NOAA summary of recent research into climate change and hurricanes revealed the following. For every two degrees Celsius of warming, intensity is projected to increase by one to 10%. Instances of rapid intensification will increase. More storms will strengthen to category four or five. One of the biggest, uh, most damaging effects and something we've seen after Helene is the additional water that they're holding. More data from NOAA. For two degrees of warming, rainfall within 60 miles of the storm is expected to increase by 10 to 15 percent. And because sea level is rising, it only exacerbates the impacts of storm surge. So what can we all do to better prepare for a warmer world with more impactful storms? It's helpful to look at your historical hazards, things that have happened in the past, but don't limit your thinking to that. Slega Melch says also use your imagination. Just because it hasn't happened in the past doesn't mean it won't in the future. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS News, New York.